After three straight games on the road, the displaced New Orleans Saints finally had a home game at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. The Bills came out of the gate strong with Willis McGahee capping off Buffalo's opening drive. It's May 15th, 1993 in San Antonio, Texas. The Alamo Dome has just opened to the public as the new home for the San Antonio Spurs NBA team. The 65,000 seat stadium is a beacon of modern features and ingenuity designed to lure an NFL team to the growing city of San Antonio. It's now been over 30 years after the stadium broke ground and the NFL never came. And even the Spurs moved out after only 9 years at the facility. What went wrong at the Alamo Dome? How did a massive, modern stadium not attract an existing NFL franchise or an expansion team at a time when the NFL was handing out expansions like candy? Let's find out. The Alamo Dome was designed to be modern by early 1990s standards. The stadium itself is roughly in the shape of a rectangle. It has five levels of seating and seats a standard crowd of 65,000 but this can be expanded to host high-profile events like the Super Bowl by adding an additional 7,000 seats. The stadium was also planned to open with 66 luxury boxes, but only open with 38 of them situated near the Spurs basketball court. The other boxes were set to be built when the future NFL franchise moved in, but this obviously never happened. Eventually in 2006, 14 more suites were added to the facility, but the space has never been built out to its fully intended suite number. While the NFL didn't move a franchise to the stadium, the league did test the waters. Throughout the 1990s from the opening of the stadium in 1993 and up until 2001, the NFL hosted six preseason games at the facility. It wasn't until 2005 that the NFL truly gave the then 12-year-old Alamo Dome a fighting chance. Waves of water are already washing over parking lots in the greater New Orleans area. Some of the first signs of the approach of Hurricane Katrina. With Hurricane Katrina having battered the Superdome, the New Orleans Saints needed somewhere to finish their 2005 season. The Alamo Dome stepped in to serve as an emergency replacement stadium while the Superdome was either repaired or replaced. The Saints played their Week 4, Week 6, and Week 16 games at the Alamo Dome. The other home games were played at LSU's Tiger Stadium and the New York Giants Stadium. The home games at the Alamo Dome were a massive success, with despite the short notice, the Saints averaged just over 62,000 fans at the venue, nearly selling out the venue on average. The NFL liked the results they were seeing, and some officials indicated that San Antonio would be on the shortlist for any future expansion teams. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones even publicly stated that he would support a San Antonio NFL team, although some people speculated his statement wasn't truly genuine. In the end, the Superdome was repaired in time for the following season, and the San Antonio Saints experiment was a short-lived success. On April 15, 2005, this is prior to the Saints temporarily moving in, the San Antonio City Council voted to spend $6.5 million in renovations and updates to the stadium, with an additional $8.3 million coming in early 2007, and further efforts to lure either an MLS team or an NFL team to the facility. Neither of these update plans would work. By today's standards, the Alamo Dome is a relic of the past. NFL teams now want large glass stadiums with limitless amounts of luxury boxes for high roller fans. The Alamo Dome on the other hand is somewhat claustrophobic, with little to no room to add the amount of luxury boxes that would be needed by an NFL franchise today. Estimates recently have been made that $150 million of renovations would be needed in order to get any NFL franchise to even take the venue seriously. Although arena football teams, the AAF, and many others have tried, no one has been able to crack that secret formula to make the Alamo Dome successful. Currently, the only full-time tenants are the UTSA Roadrunners of the NCAA and the various rotations of concerts and other conventions. In the end, it looks like no NFL team will ever land at the Alamo Dome, 
aside from perhaps another preseason game if the NFL wants to do more market studies of the area. The city of San Antonio did everything right. They built a modern for the time venue, invested and promoted to try to lure a team, but were just truly unlucky in the end in trying to lure a franchise to the city. The venue was successful as a concert space, convention space, and college football stadium, but will never get its shot as a permanent host of an NFL franchise. With that, the Alamo Dome joins the archive of everything. This was really an interesting story to take a look at. I really do think an NFL franchise would be great in San Antonio, but external factors such as Jerry Jones would just never let this happen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment with future stadium ideas or any other video idea. Leave a like if you enjoy the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content. As always, this is Matt from the Archive of Everything, and I'll see you all real soon.